week's topics are precision, error, and tolerance. Suppose we want to measure how far across the turkey is from his head to his tail feathers. We can use a centimeter ruler to measure him, but if we do that, we can only measure to the nearest centimeter. You can say he measures between six and seven centimeters, he measures more than six and a half centimeters, he's a little less than seven centimeters, but you can't get more precise than that. If you use a millimeter ruler, your precision is millimeters. Now you can say that the turkey is between 67 and 68 millimeters. That's a little more precise than 6 and 7 centimeters. So precision is the level of detail of a measurement, and it's determined by the measurement device. For example, if you're using a ruler to measure that's marked in millimeters, then your precision's in millimeters. Error is the difference between the true value and the measured value. This is a pretty easy idea. Let's suppose that you're looking at double stuff Oreos. They're supposed to be twice the filling of regular Oreos. Now there are one grams of filling in a regular Oreo. That means you better have two grams of filling in a double stuff. If your double stuff Oreo only has 1.8 grams of filling, then there's a difference of two tenths of a gram. That's the error. Greatest possible error is just half the unit that you use for measuring. If you're measuring in feet, greatest possible error is a half a foot. Tolerance is the allowable error in a given measurement. Suppose the Oreo company allows a 2,500 ounce tolerance for error on the weight of a cookie. And a cookie is supposed to weigh 3 and 5 tenths ounces. The ideal weight is 3 and 5 tenths ounces. The Oreo can be 2,500 ounces less than the ideal or 2,500 ounces greater than the ideal. But if the cookie isn't within that range, then it doesn't meet the tolerance that was required by the company. I guess we'd have to eat that one. It's a reject. <laughs> a cookie that weighs 3 and 5,300 ounces is okay. It's within the tolerance level. But a cookie that only weighs 3 and 20 hundredths ounces isn't all right. We could determine the allowable range of cookie weights by fixing three and five tenths as the ideal and going 25 hundredths below and 25 hundredths above that ideal weight. Okay, that's it for this lesson. As always, we have a few practice exercises for you. And remember, if you want a little more practice in some math topic, see a math teacher near you. We'll be glad to help. Good thing we're coming up on nutrition break. I need my Oreo fix.